everyone, it's Sky here again. Uh, this time I just have a short tutorial to give you a flip through of my um, combination color book. Um, that is what I showed last time that has my hair combinations as well as some other color combinations that I've done. Um, I shared that video the ombre hair one to a couple of coloring groups on Facebook and I had a few requests to see a flip through or pages which I'm going to do both so I will show you a flip through of this book as well as I am going to put a link in the description to my Facebook where I will have a public album with the pages of this and I'm doing that because it's kind of a work in progress. I don't have all the pages filled out. So I can update that and you can keep checking back for more. Um, I'm also going to make my coloring album public so you guys can go in and see that if you'd like to. And if you don't use Facebook or would rather use Instagram, my Instagram is right here. I will also put it in the description there. Uh, it used to be life underscore of underscore sky, but I changed this um, just, just today actually to match my YouTube. So, without further notice, okay, so this is my sketchbook for my color combinations. It's just a cheap dollar store sketchbook. I think I paid maybe two dollars for it. So whatever sketchbook you have in your dollar store would be fine. This is um, a volume finish, which means that the paper is really smooth. There's not much tooth to it. Now, I don't mind that, but if you prefer toothier paper, then I would probably try to find something that isn't a volume finish. But I like this because instead of like most sketchbooks where you open them this way and they're binded, it's spiral bound at the top so I can flip it up and flip through it that way, which I find that very convenient, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just preference. So I'll do a quick flip through of this, and if anybody is wanting to take screenshots or write down color combinations or whatnot, I will just quickly pause on each page, and you can just pause the video and write down what you need to. Um, if you would rather go to my Facebook page and just save the images that I'm going to upload to my color combinations album, then you can do that. So here we go. Now, how I made, um, what would you call them, the, the coloring swatches, I don't know, is I actually took out a page from this book, and I wasn't thinking I should have just used a different piece of paper, but, and then I made my own little designs to color on, so of course like a strand of hair for hair, and I also have an eye in there, so the only ones that I saved. Um, some of them I traced out of other books. The flowers I traced from Hannah Carlson's book. Same with the leaves. Um, the eyes and the lips I used one of Hannah Lynn's books. Uh, I am fairly artistic. I just didn't feel like drawing, but that is a great alternative if you're not very, um, very into drawing. So here are the skin tones, and I actually got these ones off of Google, except for the last one. The last one I made myself because I wanted one that was a little less complex in the sense that there's only six colors instead of eight. It's just a little less time consuming. This I also got off of Google. It's a cool colors chart. And then, of course, the next one would be warm colors. And then this page I don't have too much on, just this little leaf here. 
colors. I only have a few color combinations for them so far. And surprisingly, my lips, I only have three colors so far, which is kind of funny because I love coloring the lips. It's one of my favorite parts. Next we have eyes. This one I actually came up with this one today for an amber eye color and another thing about this sketchbook is they look much better on coloring book paper depending on the paper but because this is a volume finished book without blending it which I don't take that much time to do um, it doesn't look nearly as good but it's just for quick referencing anyways so next up we have some two-tone somewhat normal hair colors I may decide to do. And here are my ombre hair colors. Here I just have some little circle swatches for just random color combinations that I like that could work for almost anything. And then just one for metals and wood. It took me forever to find a cherry kind of wood combination. I wanted that for hair actually, but of course I got it on a treasure chest in one of Hanlon's books. But I can't wait to try that one out on hair. And one other thing I wanted to show you guys is a little trick to help you decide if you are stuck between two or more colors to put down on a page. Um, for this little mini tutorial or a little hint and trick segment, I'm going to use Color Me Happy, illustrated by Angela Porter. And the image that I chose for this... Is these little, what I thought were shell, or coffee beans, sorry, but they're actually shells. So, let me just clip my book here because I can't fit double pages in my little cage. There we go. Alright, so let's focus in on this one here. I guess, get ready to focus, I should say. Now, what you are going to need for this is tracing paper. And I never thought about this until a few months ago, and I've thought about sharing it, but I wasn't really sure how to explain it. Or not really how to explain it, but how to go about showing people it. Um, I've had this tracing paper for a really long time. Um, I think my mom bought it for me back when I was still going to just normal school. I think she actually bought it in like grade six or seven and of course I haven't really used it much. I still have quite a bit of it. But she probably paid maybe five dollars for this. If she paid more I'd be surprised. But even if it is a little bit more costly than that, I think it's a really good investment because it will last you a long time, especially using it for this purpose. So what you do is you just rip a page out, which I have here. I actually had already recorded this video on this little shell here, but of course my phone didn't save it or something happened there. So now we're going to be using this little red orange shell. So hopefully the camera can focus in because the tracing paper kind of, kind of blurs it out a little bit. So let's say I can't choose between a teal and turquoise gradient or a teal and aqua green gradient. And I'm using Crayolas for this by the way. So I just take my teal pencil and I just roughly layer it over here being careful not to move the 
paper. And then I would take my turquoise or aqua green, whichever one you'd want to do first. And then you can kind of see how that's going to look. It's going to be a little bit brighter. And then you just move it over and do the same thing again with whatever pencils you choose to try out. This time I'm going to use the aqua green. Let's see how that looks. I think I like that one a lot better. And then you can go back and forth between the two to see which one you like more. Of course, I like, I like this one more. And then you can go in and actually color that. And that's about it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you're doing little things like this, then your paper will last a long time. But if you are trying to figure out larger things, this may not be the best way unless you want to take that time to try it out. Again, that's, that's all up to you, but it is a really nice option. Now I can't remember which one I picked. It's the aqua green. But yes, it's a it's a really good option to help you make up your mind. And I am I'm one of those people where I just want to throw every single color I can find at a page. And so choosing colors comes very difficult to me. So if any of you are like me, I hope that this helps you out, and I hope that you can get some use out of it. Alright, bye guys.